In this lesson, we're going to cover the installation of the GraphTech Studio software application. Even though Studio will operate on both the Windows and Mac platforms, it is still a good idea to make sure that your computer meets the system requirements to run the software. Those system requirements are located on page 2 of your Studio manual. Also, if you are working on a Windows platform, it is always a good idea to install the Windows driver that came with your GraphTech cutter. While the Studio software application does not necessarily require the driver, installing the driver prevents needless plug-and-play messages from displaying on the screen each time you connect your cutter. Also, uninstall any earlier version of Studio that you may have previously installed. Finally, since GraphTech Studio outputs to GraphTech's cutter language, known as GPGL, the cutter will need to be set to either automatic or GPGL mode. Refer to your GraphTech cutter manual for details. Let's install the software. We'll start with the Windows operating system. Start by inserting the software DVD that came with the cutter into the DVD drive. You may get a window like this, asking what you'd like to do with the DVD. If so, then click Run Multisetup.exe. You may also get a User Account Control message, asking if it is okay to install the Multisetup application. Click Yes. This will open the GraphTech software installation application. Click Setup GraphTech Studio. From here, just follow the step-by-step -step instructions. At this window, before clicking Finish, take note whether you want to launch GraphTech Studio. In this case, we'll leave it as is, so that it will open the Studio software application. Now to install the software on a Mac, insert the installation DVD into the CD DVD drive of your computer. When the DVD icon appears on your desktop, double click on it. This will display several folders, one of which is labeled GraphTech Studio. Double click on the folder. Now double click on this disk image or DMG file. This will bring up a window displaying a GraphTech Studio icon and the Applications folder. Click, hold, and drag the GraphTech Studio icon to the Applications folder. Let's go ahead and open GraphTech Studio. When opening the software for the first time, it will show the licensing agreement. Read this through and click Agree if you accept it. After installing the software, it is a good idea to test the cutter's connection by first making sure the cutter is connected, turned on, and in ready mode. Once that is done, click on the cutter pull-down menu and select Show Cutters. This will open the connected cutter side panel. Your cutter model should be displaying and showing ready in green, indicating that the cutter is connected and is in ready mode. If it doesn't show green, check the cable to make sure it is connected properly. If it still doesn't work for some reason, review the steps we have just covered to make sure a step wasn't missed. And if you still have issues, contact your dealer where you bought the cutter, or contact GraphTech's technical support department at 888-318-3247.